So what does that mean? Well, if they have poor hygiene and they're just not inclined to pick up a toothbrush, okay, when you give them a prosthesis for an all and X, it would be wise to give them a solution that would be as easy to clean as possible. And when you create an FP1, the intaglio surface undulates, right? Every single implant, every single pontic has an emergence profile on the on the implants and it has an ovate pontic on 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 the on the abut on the pontics themselves have ovate contours. What's the problem with that? Well, how do you keep it clean? You, you know, if you get floss threaders through there, you got to you got to go over all the bumps and go into all the cracks and everything. That makes it really challenging for the patient, doesn't it? Now, on the other side, if you do an FP three, the FP threes are typically flat on the gingival contours. That flatness facilitates a very easy cleaning process because if they place the floss threader through between two implants, they can simply slide it left and right and they're done. They're touching the entire surface and they're actually keeping it clean with physical contact, okay?